Coney Island in the 1900s and early 1940s had a tremendous outbreak of shows, especially freak shows. Out of nowhere, a physician from Europe immigrated to the U.S. in 1888, goes by the name of Martin Cooney. Martin Cooney, born in December 1870 in either Alsace, France, or Breslau, Germany. His birth was not classified and therefore historians couldn't verify the date and time of his birth. At age 19, Cooney was instructed by Pierre Constant Budin in Paris, France, who had pioneered up the theory of enclosed incubators designed to keep babies warm and protected them from germs. In the 1880s, a French obstetrician named Etienne Stéphane Tarnier observed benefits of the warming chambers at the Paris Zoo, which also had similar chambers built for premature babies under his care. These incubators were introduced at l'Hospital Paris Martinique in 1880. Dr. Pierre Boudin first published about these incubators in 1888. Also, the thermal regulation was solved by Dr. Boudin. Furthermore, Dr. Boudin was convinced by Tarnier that these incubators would save millions of babies around the world and had enlisted Dr. Cooney as his associate in the World Exposition in Berlin in the year of 1896. Cooney started going around the world, showing hundreds of people his incubators. Cooney first started in France, then Germany. He then was persuaded to bring his invention to America as a slideshow, and started in Omaha, Nebraska. Furthermore, he moved to Chicago only for 18 months. However, there were too many healthy babies, so Martin Cooney finally went to Coney Island in the 1900s. When he was in Coney Island, his career spiked with the feet shows at the time. He built his own fair and started letting people see the incubators. To go behind the scenes of this miracle man, Cooney encouraged the nurses to hug and kiss the babies to show affection towards the babies, believing they would react towards it. Martin Cooney went to Coney Island and started at 1903. When he was building his facility, it cost him approximately $75,000 in order to build it. Back then, doctors didn't believe that any premature babies can be saved, so parents rushed their preemies to Dr. Cooney instead. The babies were displayed as a freak show, and other people paid 25 cents to watch the premature babies in an incubator. The parents of any of the baby in an incubator doesn't have to pay for anything. The visitor's payment is enough to pay for the operation's costs, paid his staff a good wage, and had enough left over to begin planning more exhibits to help other parents that are in need. Throughout his career, that of 8,000 preemies in his care, 6,500 survived. His exhibits closed in 1943 because incubators became widely spread in the U.S. and his exhibits were no longer relevant. That's when doctors started taking in incubators into their hospitals. In the year of 1950, Martin Cooney passed away. Cooney barely got any credit for his amazing work and his study of neonology. The moment he passed away, doctors took advantage of his work and slowly after Martin Cooney's demise. Until now, doctors have used incubators to save even more premature babies and it was all thanks to Martin Cooney's studies and advances in the study of neonology.